I've been spending my weekends in meat space, and you can tell because my Twitter activity drops to almost nothing for a few days over the weekend. And Anyway, I actually completely missed Monday, but I anticipate that I will probably be more on a routine for the next few weeks at least, although it being Canada and it being the summer, the sun comes up at, you know, four something, five, I face south. And uh, so I got up at like 4.08 a.m. today, just like woke right up. Oh, hi. Maybe because of that. Nice sound outside. Yeah. So what am I thinking about? Well, I mean, one thing about waking up at four in the morning is that you've pretty much put in an entire day's work by noon which is good because uh, I don't really feel like working in the afternoons these days. Um, I was prepping something for a client and it's kind of funny because like, like my sort of big thing that I have started to push more in the last little while, and I mean, it's something I've been doing for a while, but, and I mean, God, like, going back almost, you know, like eight years at least, is like shoving metadata into the documents that I, that I create. And part of that has to do with the, like if you reference like a piece of, like a piece of hard data, like having to cut and paste that out and having to like remembering where it is and all that business is, it's just kind of a time consuming and error prone is really where I would, where I would frame that. Like if you have an authoritative piece of like piece of content, then like you want it to be the authority on, on that content. And if you have something like quantitative or at least and I mean, I really wish there was a better way of saying like hard data point, like like actual computable data object versus just some text on a screen, you know, like, or, you know, just like a picture or something. Because it's like you can't, you know, yeah, say you have a diagram or something like, like, you know, the diagram is just some polygons or whatever. Like you can't, you can't get anything out of that. Like that's, you'd have to, if you wanted to like, you know, get the semantics out of that, you would have to copy it out by hand. And so... You know, what I'm talking about is, I call it, like, I've started to call it computable data versus just machine readable because, like, anything, you know, any file format or anything is ultimately, at the end of the day, is machine readable because that's how you, you know, display it. But when it's only a display, when it's only just a picture, when it's only just some text, and you know, there are, the text has some kind of meaning or the picture has some kind of meaning that has some kind of structure, you know, but like the structure is useless, you know, as far as like com like computing it is concerned. And, you know, we came up with this, a uh, client I was working with a few months ago, uh, we had, one of the exercises we did is we got like Miro out and we got the, you know, we did the sticky notes in Miro and we had two axes and it was like, you know, and was, this is not, you know, new stuff, but, you know, you put a bunch of elements, like one is, you know, one axis of this sort of space is considered to be value and the other one is considered to be complexity or, you know, what have you. And the idea is, is you take a bunch of elements on the system and you plot them, you know, you just put them down on the, on the, uh, on the canvas in, in this sort of relative order to each other. And now, this is a, a very interesting topological structure that gets created because, like, the more up the thing is, the more valuable it is, and the more to the right it is, the more it's considered to be complex or whatever. And then we had some other kinds of, like, color coding to sort of, like, split it up between various you know, concerns. And that's sort of orthogonal to a dependency graph, but that would be awfully interesting to basically be able to integrate with a, with a dependency graph. And, uh, but, you know, the Miro board, I mean, even with the API access to the Miro board, it's freaking useless. Like you, you know, you, the amount of time that you would spend 
uh, trying to extract these things out and trying to get any information out of them, like, pfft, like, you know, it's, there's, there's no, like, there's no stuff. It's just all just drawing commands. And yeah, I mean, just to sort of like the amount of time it would have take to write the code, you know, to parse out the, the, the results, you could just transcribe it by hand into, into a structure. And it's like, well, wouldn't it be nice? You know, wouldn't it be smarter if the data structure, and I mean, this might not be possible for something like Miro, but like, you know, if you did all that work, you know, and what you wanted, the actual result that you wanted was this topological structure. Like what if you made the topological structure straight up instead of making a picture that is worthless other than looking at. So that's kind of what I mean when I'm talking about computable data, data that you just pull out of the document and you can use it in computations directly where the actual semantics are, you know, the structure of the semantics is represented and it's not just like a picture, it's not just some text embedded in a document. So, and that brings me to another thing that I was thinking about re software. And it's kind of like, you know, when I do projects, like code is absolutely on the table, but not as like, like, it's not like a line item. It's not like build software to do X. Like I, you know, I find that that is not, that's just not what I do. You know, I don't build software. I haven't built software in like ever actually. I've never really considered myself to build software with those air quotes that are, you know, really obnoxious. And the, the reason for that is I think that there's overemphasis on the building part and I have found that there's like this other kind of, it's not necessarily different in kind per se, but like a lot of the stuff that I make is overwhelmingly uh, dominated by content. And it's content of the form of this, like what I'm talking about, like computable, you know, data and hypermedia as it pertains to, to that, comp you know, that computable data. Cause like, really, what are you doing? Like you're, you know, you're, you're going from thing to thing. And the idea behind that is you're kind of gaining comprehension over like a high dimensional structure, but that's like, you know, that's like not doing things like software normally does. It's like mostly looking at stuff. You might be annotating on top of that, but like, you know, or just data entry in, in general, but you know, that's not like an app. You know, like I've never built, built apps. I think like, you know, the closest I came to it was, you know, one three month gig in like 2005 or something like that was like the closest I came in. Other, other than that, it's like always been infrastructure. It's always been like the really boring, like invisible stuff that like doesn't really, like, if, if it's doing its job when you don't know it's there, that kind of stuff is like mostly the, the, the this actual software that I've made and then the rest of it is like toys, uh, you know, and libraries. I do write a lot of libraries, but like, again, libraries are infrastructure. But um, yeah, no, I mean, you hire me to come up with the conceptual infrastructure is sort of where I am focused now is the, is, you know, you come up with coming up with words, you know, come up with concepts. What do we come, what do we name things? What do we, how do we organize? How do, where do we cut the, you know, the partitions, you know, how do we promulgate this in, information to, you know, people on the team? How do you get it to the marketing department so that they can suffuse it in their messaging? Like that is sort of a f different thing entirely. There's like a different category of offering than like, you know, conventional tech, you know, consulting, you know, not producing documents to end, in a, end up in a drawer. Uh, and that's kind of why, like, you know, code is on the table. Formal modeling is on the table. Though, you know, you, you, you don't hire me to build an app for you. That's uh, never what I've done. But I can certainly help you, the app builder, build your own app. Anyway, I'm going to finish my coffee.